Thank it's you. claimed George Nader organised the power summit late in 2015. Five Middle East leaders were on the guest list. There was Mohammed bin Salman, then Deputy Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Zayed, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, the Crown Prince of Bahrain, Prince Salman, and King Abdullah of Jordan. Middle East Eye says Nader urged them to create a new power bloc in the Middle East to combat Turkey and Iran, and he would lobby for them in Washington. Libya was to join the group later. It's alleged Nader, a convicted paedophile, was told they liked the idea. Those at the meeting were concerned that as the US presidential election was moving into high gear, Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton would protect the Iran nuclear deal and would be less keen to abandon old alliances. But the meeting thought the Republican candidate Donald Trump might be more likely to support their initiative. We have seen for uh, the last uh, nine months that uh, there has been a new alliance that has emerged between the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Egypt and with Bahrain as a junior party, uh, as a junior partner. And whether or not that alliance can sustain itself in the long run, that is unclear. But there are certainly efforts uh, to uh, boost that alliance at the expense of the Gulf Corporation Council. It was reported that King Abdullah of Jordan briefed congressional leaders in the US that Turkey was the main regional threat to stability. But he later allegedly fell foul of the group for not fully supporting the blockade against Qatar, which is now 10 months old. And Jordan voted against Donald Trump's controversial move to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. This bloc that has, uh, so to speak, emerged is, is not an, a bloc that can implement and carry out actual policy. Um, and um, what we have seen is that uh, the U.S. prefers uh, bilateral relationships with each of the six GCC countries, and therefore unity is, is essential. Thank you very much. Nader is being investigated as a possible key link between Donald Trump and the Emiratis, and to see if there was an attempt to buy influence by indirectly sending money to the Trump presidential campaign. Nader also arranged a meeting in Trump Tower in December 2016 that brought together Trump's son-in-law and key advisor, Jared Kushner, then Chief Strategist Steve Bannon, and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi. He was also at a second meeting in the Seychelles, which brought together significant Trump donor Eric Prince and this man, Kirill Dmitriev, a Russian banker with close links to President Vladimir Putin. Several embassies were approached for comment on the Middle East eyes allegations. No one provided any reaction. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera.